Harsha c. 590 to 647 CE, also known as Harshavadana, was an Indian emperor who ruled North India from 606 to 647 CE. He was a member of the Vardhana dynasty and was the son of Prabhakarvadana who defeated the Alchan Huna invaders and the younger brother of Rajyavadana, a king of Thanissar, present-day Haryana. At the height of Harsha's power, his empire covered much of north and northwestern India, extended east till Kamarupa, and south until Narmada River, and eventually made Kannauj in present Uttar Pradesh state his capital, and ruled till 647 CE. Harsha was defeated by the South Indian Emperor Pulakeshin II of the Chalukya dynasty. When Harsha tried to expand his empire into the southern peninsula of India, the peace and prosperity that prevailed made his court a centre of cosmopolitanism, attracting scholars, artists, and religious visitors from far and wide. The Chinese traveller Zanzong visited the court of Harsha and wrote a very favourable account of him, praising his justice and generosity. His biography Harshacharita Deeds of Harsha", Written by Sanskrit poet Banabhata, describes his association with Thanissar, besides mentioning the defense wall, a moat and the palace with a two-story Davalagriya white mansion. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins After the downfall of the Gupta Empire in the middle of the 6th century, North India was split into several independent kingdoms. The northern and western regions of India passed into the hands of a dozen or more feudatory states. Prabhakara Vardhana, the ruler of Stanvisvara, who belonged to the Vardhana family, extended his control over neighbouring states. Prabhakar Vardhana was the first king of the Vardhana dynasty with his capital at Thaneswar. After Prabhakar Vardhana's death in 605, his eldest son, Raja Vardhana, ascended the throne. Harsha Vardhana was Raja Vardhana's younger brother. This period of kings from the same line has been referred to as the Vardhana dynasty in many publications. According to major evidences, Harsha, like the Guptas, was of the Vaishya Varna. The Chinese traveller Zanzong mentions an emperor named Shiladitya, who had been claimed to be Harsha. Zanzong mentions that this king belonged to Fei Shi. This word is generally restored as Vaishya, a Varna or social class. Ascension Raja Vardhana's and Harsha's sister Rajashri had been married to the Maukari king, Graverman. This king, some years later, had been defeated and killed by King Devagupta of Malwa and after his death Rajashri had been cast into prison by the victor. Harsha's brother, Raja Vardhana, then the king at Thanissar, could not stand this affront on his family, marched against Devagupta and defeated him. But it so happened at this moment that Shashanka, king of Gada in eastern Bengal, entered Magadha as a friend of Rajyavadana, but in secret alliance with the Malwa king. Accordingly, Shashanka treacherously murdered Rajyavadana. On hearing about the murder of his brother, Harsha resolved at once to march against the treacherous king of Gada and killed Shashanka in a battle. Harsha ascended the throne at the age of 16. Reign. As North India reverted to small republics and small monarchical states ruled by Gupta rulers after the fall of the prior Gupta Empire, Harsha united the small republics from Punjab to central India, and their representatives crowned him king at an assembly in April 606 giving him the title of Maharaja. Harsha established an empire that brought all of northern India under his control. The peace and prosperity that prevailed made his court a centre of cosmopolitanism, attracting scholars, artists and religious visitors from far and wide. The Chinese traveller Zanzong visited the court of Harsha, and wrote a very favourable account of him, praising his justice and generosity. Pulakeshin II defeated Harsha on the banks of Narmada in the winter of 618–619 CE. Pulakeshin entered into a treaty with Harsha, with the Narmada River designated as the border between the Chalukya Empire and that of Harshavadana. Zanzong describes the event thus. Shiladicharaha i.e., Harsha, filled with confidence, himself marched at the head of his troops to contend with this prince i.e., Pulakeshin, but he was unable to prevail upon or subjugate him. In 648, Tang dynasty emperor Tang Taizong sent Wang Zuans to India in response to Harsha sending an ambassador to China. However once in India he discovered Harsha had died and the new king attacked Wang and his 30 mounted subordinates. 
This led to Wang Zuan's escaping to Tibet and then, mounting a joint force of over 7,000 Nepalese mounted infantry and 1,200 Tibetan infantry attacked the Indian state on June 16. The success of this attack brought Wang Zuan's the prestigious title of the Grand Master for the Closing Court. He also secured a reported Buddhist relic for China. Religion Like many other ancient Indian rulers, Harsha was eclectic in his religious views and practices. His seals describe his ancestors as sun worshippers, his elder brother as a Buddhist, and himself as a Shaivite. His land grant inscriptions describe him as Parama Maheshvara, supreme devotee of Shiva, and his play Nagananda is dedicated to Shiva's consort Gauri. His court poet Bana also describes him as a Shaivite. According to the Chinese Buddhist traveler Zanzong, Harsha became a devout Buddhist at some point in his life. Zanzong states that Harsha banned animal slaughter for food, and built monasteries at the places visited by Gautama Buddha. He erected several thousand one hundred feet high stupas on the banks of the Ganges River, and built well maintained hospices for travelers and poor people on highways across India. He organized an annual assembly of global scholars, and bestowed charitable alms on them. Every five years, he held a great assembly called Moksha. Zanzong also describes a 21-day religious festival organized by Harsha in Kannauj. During this festival, Harsha and his subordinate kings performed daily rituals before a life-sized golden statue of the Buddha. Since Harsha's own records describe him as Shaivite, his conversion to Buddhism would have happened, if at all, in the later part of his life. Even Zanzong states that Harsha patronized scholars of all religions, not just Buddhist monks. Author Harsha is widely believed to be the author of three Sanskrit plays Ratnavali, Nagananda and Priyadarsika. While some believe e in Kavyaprakasha, that it was Bana, Harsha's court poet who wrote the plays as a paid commission, Wendy Doniger is persuaded, however, that King Harsha really wrote the plays himself. See also Surasena Kingdom History of India Bhaskar Varman References Further reading Reddy, Krishna 2011, Indian History, Tata McGraw-Hill Education Private Limited, New Delhi Price, Pamela 2007, Early Medieval India, HIS 2172 Periodic Evaluation, University of Oslo. "'Conquests of Siladitya in the South' by S. Srikanta Sastri.